restaurant and it is one of my favorites. As someone who's probably tasted nearly everything on Cyan Swift's menu, mm -hmm. uh, we are here today and making gumbo. The Veg, you guys just opened. Tell me a little bit about this restaurant. Well, uh, the Veg's been open for about a uh, month and a half. Yep. And um, we do everything from gumbo to pancakes. Now we're starting to do breakfast. Uh, some of our staples are a good veggie burger, mm -hmm. we have quesadillas, uh, we're doing enchiladas, our special of the day. So <laughs> y'all can come down and, and check out our enchiladas. And then sometimes we do our gumbo and, um, you know, nachos, we did the tacos. One of the great things about this is that it, for people who are on maybe a vegan diet mm -hmm. or uh, even vegetarian and just want to have something where they know what the food is yes, and where yeah. it comes from, you guys are really great about using amazing ingredients, but even if you're there with friends who are not veggies, uh, yeah, they not. love them too. Have you seen a lot of that? Oh yeah, um, it's make it, we try to make it really easy for people to, to you know, yeah. cross over a little bit. Because a lot of times <laughs> like, I felt like you know, the food was boring sometimes. Yeah. So, and, um, I, I mean, you don't want to eat a salad every day. No, not every day. I had to. I had personally had to have some gumbo, some cake, some this. Now there's some sugar in, you know, in the cake sure. and the cookies and stuff. But small steps, you yeah. take baby steps, right? Well, and you're saying that you you were switching over to the vegan, vegan diet, diet for health reasons, and and, and 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 what I found out was, was sadly enough, it's it's really out of convenience what white people can't eat healthy. Yeah. Because in a lot of um, neighborhoods, the food, the fruits and stuff are poor quality and not available. Yeah. Um, they have like pick five meats, but avocados cost you a dollar and something a piece, exactly. which is ridiculous. So. Um, and it, it is hard. It's expensive to cook yeah. healthy. Yeah. It's not always accessible, not always yeah. available. And yeah. so you have really saved me when I come to the river market <laughs> and want to eat something and I know what it is. So let's start making some gumbo because okay. I actually, like I said, have never really had gumbo okay. because it's never been meat free. So how do you make a non-meat gumbo? Okay. Well, we, um, we, I guess what they call it down there is, um, they call it a build a gumbo. So build a gumbo. A build a gumbo share. <laughs> share. You ever talk to somebody from Louisiana? Like, oh Only a few times. All right. Oh, so goodness. how do they do it? All right. So first thing you want to do is you want to get a roux together. Okay. And that's, that's a, um, a French word. And it's just pretty much a half a cup of, um, oil, olive oil or mm -hmm. vegetable oil, whatever you want to do. And you want to add some flour here. Okay. Um, maybe quarter cup of flour. You want to turn it on high, take your spoon. Now you want to use a, not a pan like this, you want to use a thick bottom pan because okay. you know you're going to cook it up high and you want it to uh, to not be able to burn on the bottom. To make that kind of thick. Thick, yeah. Yeah. And they say anywhere from a paper bag to chocolate, you know, a, a milk chocolate color is, okay. is great. And then get that really thick. After that you're going to throw in um, some celery and onions. Okay. Once the roux is going. This thing, I don't know if it's on or not, but um, <laughs> onions. Magic of television. Right, magic of television. Um, All right, so you have some onions, onions in there, some and you're gonna celery. Fry those, you're going to fry those for about 10 minutes on high and get that roux stuck oh, to it. Okay. It's going to thicken it up real good. Then after that, it's pretty much, you know, down here from dump, here. Dump, we dump, got, yeah, yeah, dump, dump, dump. We got um, parsnips. We got some um, carrots, corn, tomatoes, tomatoes okra. Um, gumbo actually is a West African word. Really? Um, yeah. Meaning, uh, it is uh, okra. I okra. love okra. Yeah. And you got some, is that jalapeno? Oh, yeah, some jalapenos. That's right. Give it a little peppers. spice. And for the guys who often come to you and mm -hmm. say, hey, where's my protein? I yeah. just worked out today. Yeah. You have um, soy protein. So, uh, soy and protein. And that's, that's just a kielbasa that you can buy it. Kroger's, some Kroger's have them. Um, that's and awesome. you just chop it up, and I, I seared it. And um, you're going to just dump it all in one, uh, about two to three cups of water. Okay. I'm just gonna dump all that in one. And then I don't know how much time we have, but of course, you know, right, we've already got see. some made up. Also, you got paprika, coriander, we've got some basil leaves, and cayenne, of course. Ooh, we've got some good spices in there. I'm just gonna stir that around. Now, I've got a plate. Oh, you do have a plate. plate. You have a one plate ready trip. for me. If you ever like, if you ever have guests or something at the house, you can just get you some rice, okay. get a little cup or something, and just mold it like a nice little mold there. And then and serve the side it up. Of cornbread, yeah. And then just serve it right on up. And just put a little bit over the top. And it looks real good. You can smell it when it comes out the pot. Well, ooh, it does smell good. It's yeah, very spicy. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, as I mentioned, I've eaten half of their menu, so <laughs> I can tell you personally that it's really delicious, even if you're not a vegetarian or a vegan. And uh, thank you so much, Saeem, for coming in and sharing this gumbo with us, and I will give it a taste and let everyone know how it is. So go ahead and visit them in the River Market. They're amazing. Uh, and just try to eat through that menu as I have. Yeah, all right, <laughs> all right, yeah, all right, Saeem, yeah. thank you so much. No Up next, we have a surprise from the Arkansas Outdoors Expo.